Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Kristen. Happy Black History Month. I, I think this is a year that I'm like the most excited about Black History Month for some reason. This year just feels extra special, maybe because it's the first year I am going through Black History Month as a black doctor. Um, and I was like, you know, what? why not talk about why I love being a black doctor? Before we get started, if you have not subscribed, let me tell you, you do not want to miss what is coming. We are going up, you guys. We are going up. And if you want to come up with us, like you gotta be in tune to what's going on. So subscribe, follow on Instagram. Let's keep each other accountable on our journeys to becoming doctors, healthcare providers, lawyers, teachers, whatever you wanna become. <laughs> Let's keep each other accountable. So there are three major reasons why I love being a black doctor. Number one is I love educating my patients about themselves and their body and how their mouth connects to their stomach and to their brain and how it affects their heart and their lungs and all those other things that you don't hear about in school, you don't see on TV, that no one really ever tells you, especially in the black community. Patient education is so, so low. Um, most patients never, never don't have any idea what periodontitis is. They might have heard the word on a commercial, but nobody's really explained it to them. Nobody really explains the, the progression of it and how if it's not controlled, it can lead to not only bone loss around your teeth and teeth loss, but also heart disease. And, and a lot of people don't know that. And so when I'm able to walk into the operatory and for my patient to look at me and be like, oh wow, it's a black woman, like she's got my back. Cause that's how I feel when I walk into a setting and my therapist or my physician or my chiropractor is black. I'm like, oh, they're gonna believe me when I say, oh, this hurts or this doesn't feel right. They're not just gonna dismiss my, my concerns as unfortunately a lot of the time is done by, uh, by physicians of other races and sometimes even by blacks. Hopefully not, nobody's, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so number one is patient education, being the one to really educate my patients on how to take control of not only their oral health, but their entire wellness as a whole. Number two reason why I love being a black doctor is the community. Oh my goodness, so if you are not on Instagram, you can find me there. Um, the community of black doctors, especially black female doctors on Instagram is just the most enriching and just supportive environment that I have found amongst doctors that I didn't even know existed until I really started to tap into my, oh, I'm in dental school, I'm a dental student, I wanna be a doctor, da da thing. Um, I've met, met so many <laughs> black doctors via social media who we support each other, we follow each other, we comment on each other's posts. Many of us, we haven't even met each other yet in person, but there's just this unspoken sense of community where it's like, I got your back, I see you, you're killing it, let's win together. And I am just so happy to be a part of that community and I enjoy welcoming other women and men into that community it is i'll say this yes you can do anything you want in life you can become anything you want in life but if you have someone that you are able to see what you want in life and see some that somebody has already done it or somebody has already done something similar to what you want in life it becomes so much easier for you to visualize yourself in that position. And so by fostering a sense of community amongst black doctors and um, black female doctors, there is so much, everything seems so much more within reach. You're like, oh, that's exactly what I wanna do and she's doing it. I can do it too, you know? And it also gives you the opportunity, and I'm speaking for myself, it gives me the opportunity to say, oh, I can do that, but I can also do more. I can do my own spin on it. And that is paving the way 
Like while you're chasing your dreams, that's paving the way for others who are coming up behind you to see, oh wait, Dr. K does it this way. I like that, I'm gonna do it that way too. Or I'm gonna put my little spin on it. And it's just, it's just the best. And so, shout out to my dentists on Instagram. We follow each other, uh, Dr. Joy with a Y, Dr. Joy with an I. <laughs> Um, Dr. Amira, Dr. Simone Ellis, Dr. Trudy Frazier, all the doctors just killing the game. Um, yeah, thank you. And the final reason why I love being a dentist, I love being a black doctor, is the representation. Now let me give you all a few numbers, okay? 14, approximately 14% 14 of the US population identifies as black, correct? Now tell me why only 3.6 of the population are dentists. Only 5.3% are physicians. The math ain't math, in, okay? It's unfortunate. But this isn't the end. Let's just say that. This is not the end. This we and it's not the beginning either. <laughs> but we are coming up. Okay? And as long as that number continues to grow, which it hasn't much in the past 10 years or so, but there's still time. That's why I take my platform very seriously. Um, because again, just like I benefit from seeing other doctors do who look like me do what I want to do and be where I want to be by having this conversation with my subscribers and my followers we are able to keep that in the conversation and also realize that this is so attainable it's so attainable for some it can be hard it will be hard it's not gonna be easy there are gonna be roadblocks there are gonna be things that are gonna keep you from getting to where you wanna go as fast as you'd like to go. But it is possible. The best feeling is when I have a little black girl in my operatory chair. And this has happened a few times. And I come in and I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dr. K, nice to meet you. And their eyes are just like, what? She's a doctor? It warms my heart. It is the best feeling in the world because representation matters. That's really it. That's why it's important for me and other people like me to use their platforms to show others that it's attainable, it's possible, it's within reach. So that's why I love being a doctor, and specifically a black doctor. You gotta bring the culture in it too. Show that having colorful nails is not unprofessional. It does not hinder me from doing my job right. Okay, that's a little extra. That's a little extra thing for y'all. <laughs> having cool sneakers on does not mean that I can't do my job properly, or even better than the average joke. Oh, Josephina. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next time. Oh, and if you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe because we are going up. Okay, we are going up. It is only up from here. And if you want to be a part of that journey, please hit the subscribe button below. Let's go up together. Peace.